Hi guys, welcome back on my channel. Today we are making the most amazing beef tartare. I have a few tips and tricks I want to share with you, so let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the meat. As we are serving this dish raw, you want to get the best quality. If you have a trusty local butcher, it's a great place to start. Making a beef tatar, in my opinion, you should go with a fillet. It is the softest, has the least amount of fat and it will melt in your mouth. The last thing you want to do is to bite on a chewy piece of meat. Alright, let's start with our meat. As we are serving it raw, get your meat out of the fridge shortly before cutting. Grab the sharpest knife you have and cut the fillet against the grain into very thin slices. Don't rush and put some love into it. Then stack a few slices at a time, cut the meat crossways again forming very thin strips. Turn strips around and dice into small cubes. Once you're done, run the knife underneath your meat and transfer it to a bowl. That was the hardest part to do. I like my tatar hand chopped. Other than using already minced beef, it has more texture and it is not so creamy and mushy. Add a touch of olive oil and gently stir. Let's get this meat to the fridge. In the meantime, we'll take care about our seasoning. So let's talk about the seasoning. Of course, there's a classic way to do it and thousand other variations how to season your meat. I would like to show you my favorite way and what I find the most easy, comfortable and quick solution. So other than chopping each ingredient thinly, we'll use my small friend over here. Red onion. Capers. Pickles, paprika, Tabasco, Worcestershire, olive oil, parsley, whole grain mustard, lime, salt and pepper. So remember, exact amount of the ingredients always in the description down below. When making the sauce, go easy on the spices. Salt, pepper, Tabasco you can always add later on. The only thing left to do is to combine our meat with the seasoning and I will show you a lovely way to garnish our tatar. Now carefully combine, remember we don't want to mash our meat. Now really important to try, if something is missing you can still fix it. Mm -hmm. Now pop your meat into the fridge for 5 more minutes. This way it will have time to absorb all the spices and we will prepare our lovely garnish. We are making a quick horseradish sauce. For that simply combine horseradish cream with some fresh cream. For an easy and precise decoration I like to use a piping bag, but you can definitely do it with the spoon. The only thing which is missing is a nice plate and I will show you how to garnish. I'm sure you realized I didn't add any yolk. As I made my sauce in a blender it was creamy enough, but if you like you can simply add the yolk on top. And don't forget you need a nice bread for your tatar. Alright, now it's time for the taste test. It is slightly spicy, fresh and it has a bite to it. It is a perfect recipe to impress your family or friends. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, give me a like, ring the bell and I really hope we see us in the next one.